Hello everyone, this is Bakari Shivanu with MakeUseUp.com. I thought I would do a little tutorial about the Better Snap tool, which I write about um, in the uh, in, on MakeUseUp.com, and this uh, tutorial will be a part of that article, so you can watch the video as well as read the article to learn how to use this tool. I noticed that the tool is very powerful, but it has a lot of uh, it has a lot of features that may be not as intuitive to a lot of users so I thought I would do a quick tutorial so let me give an example of how it works well one of the features of how it works so for example if I drag a window here on my desktop this is my 27th inch um, iMac and I want to resize this window all I have to do is just put it into this little frame right here the blue frame and it resizes the window for me right there now um, I can also uh, put it into another frame right here and it goes to a smaller size okay or I can do it over here okay and resize it that way so I don't have to you know grab the corners or move the cursor in order to resize it now the um, Better Touch tool is um, an application that rests inside your menu bar. And so you can go in and you can set up your customized uh, areas. And it also has some preset areas set up for you as well. But I'm just, and those are easy to do. You can pretty much use those right outside the box. Let me show you that real quick. Um, it comes out with, if you, it has some preset areas so that if you drag any window to you know, your top left or to the top or snap to the, you know, to the right, it will snap it for you. But those presets really don't work well for me and particularly with the large screen. Uh, if they work okay for you, that's fine. But you can um, customize, um, you know, the areas in which you want to snap windows to. And uh, so let me show you how to kind of do that a little bit. So first off, what you're going to do is say, for example, I want to have an area that's about this size. You know, it's like I want to position about it right here on my screen. I don't want to use the make use of area. I want to do a new one. So we're going to resize the windows about there and position it there on the screen. Then you're going to go up to the snap areas here and click on create. Um, you know a new area and you want to click on the editor box here and what it will do is it will present a frame for you now that frame the frames can be anywhere you want and you can also change the color of the frame so let's say we change it to um, yellow since we don't have yellow and I want to maybe change the opacity a little bit there and you can click on the name and give it a name if you want um smaller <laughs> small size window whatever you don't have to give it a name but if you want to you can do that as well and so you have it set there and again you can make this small too it doesn't have to be the size that you want so you can do it there and then once you're done just click on the uh the click out you know click on this little gray box to exit the uh, editing mode okay so it's already set so now let bring them up. So you, when we got this size here, right? But say I wanted to go to the smallest size that I just set. We set it in here, and it goes to the smallest size really quickly. Saves a lot of time there. And uh, better Snap Tool has some other customizations. You notice um, when I was moving the window, um, the frames popped up. If those frames pop up too quickly, you can go into customizations and select uh, delay before snapping and select that is not selected by default so you need to enable that and then you can you can you know change the time I, I the time like 1.4 seconds works best for me because otherwise if you're moving if you're moving a a, a, um, a, 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 a window just a little bit they will pop up if you you know if you leave it less than a uh, less than a second or so so here I can move it without them popping up and then if I wait about 1.4 seconds then they'll pop up and I can you know reposition it and then or drop them in to wherever I want so I can drop it in here or what have you so that's how to do that now it has some other 
really nice features as well you can also um, do a thing where you can tell you can use the one of the three buttons the the red black or green button on Windows and you can um, set up where what you want better touch better snap tool where you want it to do when you click or right click on one of those buttons and it has a lot of choices here or you can just have it show a menu of choices or actions so there's a lot of functionality to this program it's, it's not as intuitive for some users as it could be but once you get in and work with it and kind of just kind of play around with it and kind of edit the setup um, a few times if you need to go back and edit the setup you can just go into um, snap areas edit and you can move these around or reposition them or even get rid of them if you want to do that. So you can just kind of like you can snap to get rid of them if you don't need them. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. It just takes a little time. But after you get it set up, it's going to save you oogles of time and frustration. So I hope that kind of helps out a little bit. And uh, just read the article and watch the video and that should help. Thanks a lot and uh, thank you for reading MakeYourself.com.